In today's video, we're going to find out whether Rome is really going to bring the hammer down upon us. Can we beat them back? Will they bring about 10 full stacks? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Whilst also looking to see if we can start to take out the Liberni, our long-term allies up here in the north. Can we fight them off? Can we beat them back? And can we take their very rich lands? Well, stay tuned to find out, guys. And if you are enjoying this series, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium. So, Rectum, last time we were attacked by the Romans. So, um, yeah, that's it's rather painful, I've got to say. It's a rather painful thing to happen. They randomly just decided to uh, blockade a port, I believe, which is how they declared war on us. Um, we do we do border them now. That is probably the reason why they have declared war on us. Um, so, yeah, we're sending across a raid to Darmos with his glorious army to push them back if we get chance. Have some good experience in this army no greek units so pretty much all sort of um pretty much all uh, illyrian units apart from the assyrian epibati and some of the cavalry uh, but yeah apart from that we are in a pretty darn good position where did all those uh, glorious units of silver experience guys go hmm is there someone on the ships? That's what I want to know. Yeah, this army is on the ships, ready to go. So, yeah, Plarin's the RDA iron. So, yeah, he is ready to go. We are going to send him across to the north as well to attack the Liberni. And then we're also going to bring Bardalis back, retrain Bardalis, and get his army ready to attack the Liberni from the south. So, it's going to be a pincer movement on the Liberni themselves we're probably going to start from to here and go along now there's a couple of things i want to do i was going to do it completely off camera but i wanted to let you know first that i was doing it so i am going to do it off camera because it's going to take a little while now a lot of the settlements we have recently taken have a lot of sort of buildings uh, military buildings like these ones for example damastion all that sort of thing so we're, we're sitting on a lot of money guys like we don't need to have uh recruitment centers everywhere do we like it's it's no there's no point for it unless we specifically want to build up one here and here for example like here in uh nysos we can get some of these units and it's also a minor city already and then, of course, we have Idaba over here, which is actually is a Getic town, guys. That is why we get access to Dacian horse archers, and we are going to make use of that. Do not worry about that for a second. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around all of the settlements, guys, and I'm going to destroy some of the military buildings in the building, in the settlements, where I don't think we're ever going to recruit from and i'll let you know uh you know what we do with the money afterwards too well there we go guys have cleaned up all of the land so some of the settlements like these two up here have had deleted a lot of these up here all the way up to ambilicium which is the largest population out of any of these lands around here so i decided we'll keep it there just in case we get attacked from the north all of these in here, apart from Feltria, have been kept, of course, because this is going to be a very rich recruitment hub. Parentum has been deleted. Um, Suggestica has been kept. These guys have been kept because they already have sort of a bit of a military building, but those haven't. All of these up here have been kept because they're all big cities and will have a good opportunity to recruit from going forward. These ones in the middle here have been deleted. A couple... In this land over here. I don't think in Durnion though. Because it's got a good decent level. Uh, but these ones in Damastion. And Thunatiopolis. They have been deleted. Of course these ones are being kept. So yeah. A good little mix of what we've done. But we've now got 43,000 gold. Which is quite a lot. So I think what we're going to do. Is we are going to use it to build. In all of our cities. That we can build in. That it is worth building in. So Epidauros here 
is level three. We can actually recruit every single thing from there already. So it's really not worth building anything there. So apart from maybe the extra population growth, but it is 5,000 for that. So it is quite a lot. Enderon over here is actually losing population. So we'll go for the tavern. Uh, and then Butho is, n is just solid population, not actually moving at all. So, again, let's go for the grain imports. We're actually not going to be able to spend much money if we are just constantly paying for grain imports. So, Glyndittonopolis. Again, let's go. It's so expensive for the grain imports, bro. So, let's go for it, though. We do need to keep our population growing, of course. Uh, and then in here, in Nestos. Probably that Shrine of Dionysus. That is cheaper, so... That's fine. Narensopolis is also not growing. So, yeah, we just have a major population growth issue just everywhere. Um, I'll do, but I'm going to leave that for now. Not really worth building anything there. Same with Pharos. Same with Korkira, Melania. Not really worth building anything. Same with Issa. Those roads don't help because, of course, they are connected to nothing. Delmium, we definitely want to grow. So, let's get that in there. Eption Salona over here where we get our Isaian uh, Epibartai. Let's go for the Blacksmith, probably a good option. Uh, Satovia as well is growing nicely, so I don't really think we need to build anything there. Promona as well, probably not worth anything. I did keep the military buildings in Promona though, so let's just pop that in there. That's going to allow us to recruit a few more Illyrian units from this region rather than just Greek ones. And then Pluripolis, definitely choose that there. That's a pretty easy choice to make. And Dawason, let's go for Dionysus. And then let's see if there's anything else we can build anywhere. Ratinium, let's go for Dionysus too. And then we should be able to build one more temple if there is anywhere we can build it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't think there is anywhere that we can build it. But that's fine. We have, the problem is, for a lot of our settlements, we've kind of run out of buildings to build in them um, <laughs> that are actually worth building. So, uh, yeah. But that's fine. That is good. We're now building in a lot more places. And we are on episode 15, guys. So, I know we've uh, had a relatively long start. But I do want to just uh, make a quick look at all of this stuff. Um, so military-wise, we are all the way down at the bottom there. You can see Rome is a lot more than us. Production, we've got good production. Territory, we are pretty much even with Rome. Look at that. So we, look how, look how fast we have uh, increased our territory as well. So yeah, we are about even with Rome. A little bit worse off than a lot of the other factions though. Population-wise, we are still a long way away from Rome, so I don't know how we got the most advanced faction recently, but uh, that's fine. Anyway, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. No, we've got Kellia to take first, so uh, let's go for that. <laughs> well, the gates are actually open, guys, so I think we're just going to rush into them. What is this? This is a history swordsman. I think Arthurio Foroy can have a nice little go at them. Going to bring the rest of the boys in too, if we can get them in. I do have a ram going towards the walls, or two rams actually going towards the walls, in case we needed an extra opening, but I don't think we do, honestly. Let's bring these guys in here too. There we go. In fact, we'll bring the spearmen out in front there if they can get there. And hopefully that 304 I gets to there in time. I don't think those reinforcements for the history are actually going to come in the end, which is kind of good for us. Um, we are deep inside Laburnie territory over here, so we do need to be wary of that when we uh, actually start attacking the Laburnie. Um, so, yeah, there goes their general. He's a northern Illyrian general, so he likes to throw a few jabbies before he charges. And Celtic spearmen, and then some more history swordsmen. So we do want... A way to get these guys off the town square. Will you fire, please, guys? Will you fire again? It's going to kill a lot of men. Well, I thought it would kill a lot of men. The History Swordsman actually took that to the face pretty darn well, I've got to say. The uh, These guys should now be firing at the general. Come on, guys. Get firing. Okay, there we go. We saw one of them 
fall off and die. Good. Keep firing. Hopefully we don't do too much friendly fire. Oh, look at that. These Epibartite are seriously, seriously good, guys. Got to remember that. They are a very, very good unit. I absolutely love them. The History Swordsmen have absolutely destroyed us here. Let's try one more time to fire. I mean, we can get all of the uh, cavalry there. It'll be quite funny. Right then, Spearman into those boys. Let's see, and uh, let's bring these guys forward too. Epibartai, keep firing. Keep firing away. I think once the uh, once these Javis get into them, they should be absolutely shredded here. So I'm not too worried about them at all. And ultimately, they just need to hold off the History Swordsman for long enough uh, so that we can uh, then deal with them later um, and take the town square. So uh, let's do that. Well, the problem here seems to be that the History Swordsman continually keep firing javelins into the Thurio 4, right? Something that the AI does all the time. It's quite fucking annoying, I'm not going to lie. Seen as, I mean, we can do it if we do this. That should work. Should work. Normally you alt attack, then attack again, and they do it. But how much damage it does, I don't know. Let's see. Takes forever as well. Look at that. Are you going to fire, guys, or not? Okay. Looks like they are going to fire. Just takes forever. Okay. It does do quite a bit of damage, but it's just, I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, we, uh, we are going to surround them now anyway. But I am sending my generals around to charge them. That is the main thing. We're going to charge them right in the back and see what we can do. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to get my guys there. I kind of don't want them in the way of the charge. So, that is the main thing. We've still got the guys knocking down the gates. We're already at the down square up here. <laughs> As you can see. We're just firing our Epibartai into the enemy. Keep firing at the Celtic Spearmen. What I'm going to do is bring my cavalry around over here. No, don't run that way. Run this way, guys. And then we're going to use them to fire into the enemy. While these guys just whittle them down one by one. While we're here, let's get these guys charged into the back of the History Swordsman. I think we'll be able to break them. This 304, though, has taken an absolute beating against the History Swordsman. So the Swordsman better than I expected, honestly. That doesn't bode well for when we fight the, um, the Romans, I've got to say. <laughs> I am not looking forward to that with just standard units. We've seen how bad standard units do against the Romans in general. So if we can get all of these guys in here. Oh my god, look how many men have died to the Epibarti. Fantastic results. Let's watch another volley. There we go. Absolutely shredding them. These guys should all now be firing. And this is going to be brutal. This is going to absolutely shred them. Look at that. Fantastic. That is what we like to see, guys. What we like to see, indeed. Look at that. There we go. Even more kills. They're getting hit from both angles now. Oh, there we go. We have broken those uh, those swordsmen. Fantastic. Let's just come up here now. These guys absolutely shredding them. Combined with the Epibartai. I don't think there's anything they can do. Let's whittle them down, guys. <laughs> I just love looking at that. There we go. They're going to break, aren't they? And then we might as well just kill... The last one of these. The last two men. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> a glorious victory, my friends. A glorious victory. We only lost 93. Let's see the Epibartai. There we go. 81 and 93 again. The MVPs. They are just a fantastic, fantastic unit. Really, really glad we have got some of those in all of our armies. Let's go, guys. And let's enslave Kalea once again. Let's also delete these buildings, because like I say, we don't actually need these at all. Like, there's no need for them here. I'm not going to recruit from in here at any point, I don't believe. So, uh, let's uh, let's do that. Who are we going to leave behind, though? I'm thinking we probably leave behind a Prodromoy would be the option. Or we could leave behind the Isaiah and Hoplites, because in reality, we don't really want them. Uh, let's pop out of there. 55%, that's actually okay. And yes, there's a nice little selection of buildings in there. Let's get the sewer. Let's knock this guy out of the way. In fact, we'll probably just auto-resolve that. Yeah, we only lost 24 men. And then this army is going to come back so that we can send it for retraining. It's going to swap with this army, uh, who is going to wait until we can attack the Laburnie from 
both sides or maybe help out against the Romans. Honestly, against the Romans, I'm thinking if we have a look here. Wait, we did we only delete one building in there? Oh, it only had one building. Okay, that's fine. Um Hmm. Like honestly, against the Romans, I'm thinking of just fort walling it off. Like we've got this here, we've got this here that we can fort wall. And then they can't really get through. There is also that up there, but they have to go through uh, in Subres land, which I don't think they're want to go going to want to do. I think they'll want to come through this way and this way. I think the forts are 3,000, though, so we do need to be wary of that. What I'm also going to do is continue recruiting some of these Celtic skirmishers as garrison units for when we get into the Laburni, because um, at the moment we don't really have any garrison units. So, yeah, we want some garrison units so that we can, uh, you know, take this land very quickly. And the plan is going to be is going to be going through these three settlements because this is their main recruitment hub down here. Go through those first. Whilst from the north, we will probably... Hmm. Do we go for Nerea first? Maybe we go for Nerea, then on to Poetovio, just so that we don't have anything more in the north to worry about. Let's just check that to make sure. Oh, no. They have taken a Tauriskium and this settlement here. Oh, my days, Laburnie. You've gone ham, bro. Right. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave the ones in the north and we're going to go for the ones on the coast because that is where all the rich territory is anyway. But let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, we have a suitable husband. He is 32. He's jealous, but I think we just accept. We need as many governors as we can get at the moment. He's called Bardalis as well, which we know is a fantastic name. Okay, we've got a war between the Maidi and the Adrician Kingdom. Right, we're going to maintain with the Adrician Kingdom, definitely, because they have about 10 armies <laughs> around our borders, if we have a look. Or they did. They've got a load of armies up here. We don't really... You know, we don't really uh, have the chance to uh, to fight them. I don't know why the Illyrian Kingdom are still sieging down Lissos when they don't border this settlement at all, actually. That's interesting. Yes, we've got we've got fond of Dalmatian carrots. I'm a, I'm a is fond of Dalmatian carrots, my friend. This man is a big fan of eating the wild Dalmatian carrots, and it's easy to see why, since his health has greatly increased. <laughs> He loves it. He loves the carrots. What a man. What a man. But anyway, let's... Uh, where was that marriage celebrations? Let's get you, my friend. And we will send you up into the north, I assume. It would be the best place. Or we just send you towards the Laburni. No, we'll send you to Plurita, Plurati Polis. It is too long since uh, we don't... We haven't had a governor in there. Seen as it is... The sight of our most glorious leader's death. Um, we got a lot of boats as well. So got Trigurion, got the uh, Epibarti. Cool. And we built quite a few of the uh, <laughs> population growth grain imports. Good. Right then. So Rome has sieged us down here. I think we just push them back. And then we do our fort walling idea. You guys get to there. You guys, can you reach... Hmm. Well, what I'm thinking is if we send you to here and then you go across to there, you guys are just going to have to risk not being in a port for a turn or two. And that is the history dead. If we take out this settlement, the history will be dead. You guys need to go back for retraining. You're going to go and attack them and attack them. Hmm. I don't really want to fight them just yet. I am thinking of just doing the old fort wall. So I think we'd have to be here for the fort wall to work. Oh, get there. We'll also get one here. And then one should be there. I don't know whether we can actually build it there. We can. So we're going to stick the army in there. Do we have enough troops, though, to fill this? That That's the... Uh, that's the other issue. <laughs> um, not really, no. No spare troops. Well, I wonder whether we can recruit a mercenary. We cannot. We can actually put the general in there, though, I guess. Or we could just put... Oh, they won't actually get in there. 
Let's just put a Prodromoy into here. And we'll stick you guys in there. I don't generally like to fort wall, guys. It's not my favorite thing to do. Because the AI kind of doesn't really like it. But I think against the Romans for now, it is, um, you know, a good idea. And sort of strategically tactical as well. What I don't like is when you just fort wall everything. So the AI just has no idea what to do. Um, and you basically just, you know, defend your land so easily. Because the, the AI is, is very, very... Uh, Stupid and just doesn't know where they're gonna go, uh, but I think for us here. It's a uh, you know an acceptable uh, Coincidence, I also wanted to say it was Anuna Kim who gave that suggestion as to um, As to deleting these buildings, so thank you to him for that uh, on a couple of videos Ago keep your suggestions coming guys keep your suggestions coming Right then, let's just see what we want to do. We've got you guys going there. You're waiting for retraining. You have arrived to defend against the Romans. We could even go... I could even go and take out Mantua. We need another spy here, really, don't we? Do we have the ability to get a spy anywhere? We do there, but unfortunately we can't at the moment. Feltria, maybe? Hmm, no. Hmm, we need another spy, or another couple of spies at least over that way. We got a lot of spies everywhere, but uh, yeah. And then against the Illyrian Kingdom, I'm just holding off. We're not gonna, f we're not gonna push against them. Like I've said before, if we push against them, we're then going to be bordering the Illyrians and the Epirotes. And I don't want another war on this front for the time being. I don't know why we're sending you up to here, but we are. Uh, and then after this is built, we will be able to get some horse archers, guys. So um, we're definitely going to be doing that. That is. <laughs> Absolutely what we're going to be doing. Horse Archer Central. If we can get a Horse Archer Army, the Romans, you know, the Romans are going to struggle, I think, against the Horse Archer-based army at the moment. Although, those Horse Archers, I don't think, are going to be so effective. Let's try and join up this guy. There we go. So now we've actually got a bit more of a stronger army. Wait, apparently that gave these guys movement. I don't know how, but apparently it did. Well, that's okay then. We'll, uh, we'll bring them up to this way. Okay, only a tiny bit of movement. Maybe the new Admiral has a trait or something like that. Right, let's do some building then. It is, again, just all kind of slowly building up to where we want to be. Um, and like I say, no, no massive battles in the last few episodes. But it's not bad. We are fine. Why is Epidamnos on the bottom? Oh, yeah, okay. Epidamnos, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> so we did delete all the buildings in there, but we're gonna we're gonna start building them back. Cesarethos, there we go. Uh, Carnium up here. Let's build the tavern as well. Although it is very likely we might lose Carnium at some point. Um, and then Turnia. Ooh, yeah, Turnia. Let's go for the silver mining complex. It costs. A lot of money. No, in fact, let's not go for that now because we don't have the law. Because if we have a look in here, 500 gold being lost to corruption. So we really need that to get up to city level so we can actually get some law in there. Durnion, I did leave the military buildings there because I want that to become a recruitment hub for Lissos, uh, Skodra, and Durnion all together as a little mini recruitment hub. Um, Feltria... Let's go for the market, Autoriati Polis. Anything worth building here? Probably not that much. But then there's not much worth building in Thunata Polis either. So um, up here in Akumincon, how are we looking in terms of what we can recruit? We can actually recruit the Skordisky Swordsman now. Although they are not an amazing unit, like... If we have a look here, what else do we have access to? The Noble Cavalry is probably the best of the AOR units up here. But we still want to have the buildings in place because it's actually not that far away from a large city where we can then recruit our actual roster. So, yeah, that is the best thing. All of these settlements are pretty nice, in fact, although not so. Uh, this one as well got a decent amount of population. So... Yeah, let's actually recruit some spies, though. If we've got the cash, we don't have the cash. Okay, two spies. So we're going to recruit two spies, and they're going to walk all the way over here. I know it's a long way, but they're actually very fast. So let's end the turn again, guys, and let's see what happens. 
Another guy for adoption. I'm actually going to ignore that for now. A flash flood in Kudinilup. So the Illyrian Kingdom and the Insubres have guys in our lands. We've got two people who came of age. Kateson the RDA Iron, who is an amazing manager. Seven. Hmm. Well, what do we have? You've got four. You're actually okay. You've got four, too. We don't have anyone in Altinum. So I think we'll send you to Altinum. And then we've got Skurdilidas over here who is probably a better commander he's kind and optimistic well supplied youthful reverent confident commander so yeah i think uh, you would be a great commander so we'll actually keep you in here for now also plator is 50 so there might come a time when he uh you know can isn't able to uh to govern anymore so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you there and hopefully you can get across to the new lands ASAP. Have you built any rams yet? No, you're all cavalry, so pretty pointless. I don't know what you're doing, but we've got to get rid of the history now. And the Romans, as you can see, they are they are just waiting by the border. They need to bring a big, a bit of a bigger army if they are going to, um, going to attack us, so fair play. Oh, Damastion got a silver mining complex too. Cool. That is good. Fantastic. Right. What else do we want to do? Okay, they've stopped. The Illyrian Kingdom have stopped sieging us down. What I think we'll do then is if we've got that unit, you guys go in there. We'll send this army back for retraining while there's a lull in the fighting. It is all AOR. So it's going to be retrained, not at Ryzon, at these two settlements at Dawason and Epidauros. What do we need in this army, though? We need Epibartai, really. So we've got one Epibartai there. Let's go for another one there. And another one there. That'll be four. So that's four more units. Let's just organize them so we can actually see. Yeah, four more units. That's it. That fills that up. Fantastic. Well, that's good. Um... And you guys, how far can you go? Okay, not actually that far. This is risky. It's very risky. I don't like doing it, but we're going to have to. Um, and then, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. So we've got that going on. We are chilling down here. Oh, the four Epibartai are there. Right. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Hmm. Well, we need another... We need another garrison unit then, so let's get one of those. Right then, let's uh, let's do our building one more time. Uh, yeah, I think having that as a relatively decent garrison is going to help against those guys. Oh, and we actually built the second tier here now. Let's go for the population growth because we're going to be taking a bit of population out of here. I'm going to queue in some horse archers. Very good. That is going to be fantastic. Love horse archers. Very good units. Let's also go to Nysos. Why can we not... Oh, yeah, we are building. Okay, I was going to say, why can we not build another level of recruitment there? But that's fine. Uh, we don't have that much money left. So let's just choose our buildings wisely. Hmm. Like some of these getting a paved road would be good, but it's not exactly absolutely necessary. Uh, same with like military buildings in some of these regions. Not really that necessary, is it? Go for a tavern there. Let's go for... If we can get to some of the cities that are that are growing, that would be good. You can get a, a market. There we go. Okay, cool. And down here. Yeah, no. There's not really that much to build left for us in a lot of these places until they grow. Um, in Sermion, let's go for that level 3. Three recruitment that's going to allow us then to build Scordiscian noble cavalry and also get us ready for when this goes into a large city so then we can train our own troops too i want to make sure that i'm always building in these regions which we are so that's yes. fantastic right then let's uh, end the turn guys again and see what happens oh i can't tell you the hatred i have for the illyrian kingdom <laughs> Just constantly attacking. Just like, have you not learned your lesson yet, guys? <laughs> so dumb, honestly. <laughs> they are incredibly dumb. 
But anyway, let's get all our Greek units into here. And let's retrain them. So there's quite a lot of money on that. And then the rest of you can go into Dawson, where we will retrain you too. Fantastic. Then, we, of course, we've got our Epibartai there, which are going to get replaced by that unit. So that is good. Um, the history are still besieging down us there. That's fine. Not bad at all. And we've built some more stuff. Anything of that much interest? Not really, no. Right then, where are the units on here? Let's drop you off. What are we missing? Yeah, we're missing two Epibata and then just maybe some more infantry because we've got a decent amount of cavalry in this army. So I'm thinking after we've recruited them, let's recruit some more Thurio Foroi. Anyone else have got anything good to offer here? Maybe some more Thurio Foroi in there. So, Greek units, let's get you Prodromoi, you guys, those two more Prodromoi. Yeah, we've got a lot of cavalry in here. You can go in Trigurion, let's retrain. Okay, we can't actually retrain the 304 in there. We've got to train them in Eption Salona. Let's make sure we make all of this at the back. And then you guys will probably go to Dawson 2 for retraining. So there we go. Good. Right then. And you, we're going to send you onto the boats. If you can get on the boats, please. And let's take out the history, guys. Final uh, final act of the history's life. Let's go for them here. It's going to be a relatively difficult siege battle, I would say. But uh, I think we'll do plenty damage enough. Let's go. Well, I think this is the first battle for Plarens, the RDA, Ayayun. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Let's see what he can do. See if he can do anything juicy or good. Um, we're probably going to try and use him quite a bit as well. Because this army is here to fight the Laburnie. So, yeah, I'd rather, you know, uh, save as many men as possible. So, I'm going to take this rather cautiously and slowly compared to some of the other battles we will have going forward. Well, here we go. In through the gates, guys. We are uh, right in through the gates. We're going to try and get rid of some of this cavalry here. And, of course, the spearmen on the other side. We have done a very good job so far of keeping our losses very much down. So, we're going to keep on trying to do that as well. We're going to bring all our missile troops in. I might even just leave the Thurio Foroi out for now because... Um, yeah, we don't really need to uh, to use them. Uh, and they are our most valuable units by quite some way. No one really has experience in this army, so that is another thing we've got to be wary of as we go forward. If they're going to just sit on the town square, we're going to do exactly what we did last time. Hmm. Which is just, you know, surround them. So, yeah, we will actually then, if we are going to see them do nothing, we're going to bring the Thurio Foroi in. This cavalry can stay out. Plarens, you're going to get in too. And then, yeah, we'll come forward. We'll bring all our missile men forward as well. So what is this? That is a Northern Illyrian Spearman. Let's save the ammo on these boys and go for these guys coming forward. Hopefully they can do some damage to that Northern Illyrian Spearman. We're going to lose a few of the Axemen, but we have really shredded that Northern Illyrian uh, Spearman there, which is very good for us. Come on, boys. Get forward. Hopefully you can kill a few of them before we have to surround them. Don't think those, those guys have jabbies, do they? No, don't think they do. So let's come forward. You guys can deal with them. Let's come up the hill where we're going to try and surround those boys. Epibartai should be able to fire. There we go. Let's surround them. You guys attack them there. Good. And the Thurio Foroi are going to get around this way. Well, we should have a pretty easy job against most of these boys. Might even bring the cavalry through this way too. But yeah, I don't think we're going to struggle too much. These guys should be firing away. Look at them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> they are so valuable. So valuable. Such a valuable unit, honestly. For their output, for their cost, they have probably been our most valuable unit by quite some way. So I am so glad that we have uh, access to those boys now. 
Come on, Plarens. Let's not die on our first ever charge, my friend. Let's go and kill these Northern Illyrian generals. There we go. Very nice. You guys need to get into these guys and stop them from flanking us. Come on, man. Stop standing there. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. <laughs> like, the enemy runs away and they just stand there. So, uh, yeah, there we go. The Northern Illyrian guys are dying. And our general did die quite a lot. There's only nine men left in that army. Right, well, let's get ready to fight them on the town square because they are going to come to the town square at some point. Okay, looks like they're going to run away. They're going to take a lot of damage for that. So let's get into the Northern Illyrian Skirmishers. How are we dying so much against the Northern Illyrian Skirmishers, bro? They're literally just a skirmisher unit. Okay, are you going to run away or what? If you, if you run, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll surround. We will surround. Good. There we go. That's their king. They aren't going to die, though. Uh, they aren't going to die and become rebels because they do have a general uh, sieging down that other settlement. So that is the one good thing that we've got going for us here. Right, then. We will uh, bring these guys forward. They might even get some shots off at the Northern Illyrian Spearmen. But there we go. We're also going to bring these guys forward now, too, ready to uh, attack the enemy. Right, then. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up nicely here. We're going to bring these guys really forward like there. And then we're going to get the Epibartai just in behind ready to fire at the enemy. And whittle them down like we have been doing very much so with our Javis. There we go. Getting a bit of a better formation, guys. I don't know what that is, but it is not a good formation, I've got to say. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's get in position, and we shall attack the enemy. Well, here we go. We're cycling through them, and as soon as they get in the range, they just get absolutely pummeled with javelins. Look at that. <laughs> Glorious. That was so easy. Very nice. We lost 149 men. I'm actually surprised by that, but most of it was in the levies, which is very good because we want to keep our valuable troops for later. How did the Epibartai do? 97 and 74. Once again, absolutely fantastic. Let's go. And I think we're just going to occupy Nysactium for now. We have this guy. What I should have done is brought two of the Epibartai too, because we can replace some of these Labeateans with the Epibartai. So we've got four Epibartai in this army. I think that would have been the best option for us there. So also make sure we're continuing to recruit some of those garrison troops. I'm going to keep on going with that although we can't actually recruit them here but let's go for that then we are still building there we're building a port there and we're building that there brilliant well let's have a look through here is there anything that needs building uh quickly here that's going to give us a nice bit of income i would assume not looking at what we have okay farming's good uh litamum over here and bilicium Let's go for a trader there. Optidiblubum. And then Carnium and Kalea. Okay, Kalea. Let's go for the farming as well. Good. Right then. 5,000 gold. Is there anything that we want to build or recruit or anything like that? I don't think so. I think we might leave it for a turn. Hmm. Rider. Let's just build a uh, one of these roads in, in, a, in an area where we need that road. So, here would be a good one because we do walk up there quite a bit. So, yeah, let's go for that. Fantastic. Uh, and the history are dead, of course. Fantastic. Very nice indeed. Do we get rid of that unit? I think so because it's going to cause devastation. So, let's just do that. 96 men we lost there. Well, uh, that's a bit obscene, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's re let's delete these buildings because, again, we're never going to recruit from here. I'm not interested in the History Swordsmen. I know they did well against us, but I don't think they're that good a unit, in fact. So let's build that, and we can't actually build any more economic buildings. Oh, they've got a Shrine to Apollo as well. Minus one population growth, but I'm sure that'll right itself next turn. And now we can pretty much see all of the Liberni Islands and all that sort of thing. So this is going to be a bit of a job to take out the Liberni, especially if they have a few 
guys in every single settlement. That's going to be very annoying on the auto resolves because I don't want to do all of these sieges, man. Um, but hopefully, what they'll do is once we've take once we've declared war, they will gather the forces up so we can fight them all. Hmm. But yeah, whether that happens or not, I don't know. Let's end the turn anyway. Well, it looks like the Liberni are doing it before even we do it. So, oh, thanks. yep, we're going to accept that. We still have trade rights, but it looks like the Liberni are finally going to attack us. And we didn't even have to do it. Minus 18 relationship. How? We've had a great alliance this whole way through. <laughs> and there it is. And there it is. And there it is. Yep. Makes sense. Dear friend. Okay, so these guys want to become our protectorate, but they are, of course, enemies with the Adrissian, so we're going to reject. And the Achaean League has died. Wow. Was not expecting that. They are a powerhouse in central Greece normally. But yeah, the Liberni have gone for us before we could even um, do anything, really. So yeah, fine by me, honestly. I don't mind. <laughs> Uh, where do we want to go? Altinium or Optigerium? Optigerium, definitely. So we definitely need to keep on recruiting more and more garrison troops. because, And we also do have garrison troops here. Because I want more garrison troops, of course. You can get all the way back. Oh, you can't. Oh, dear. Hmm. That's, <laughs> that's not ideal. Good job you're not actually holding anyone. So, right... So what I think we'll do is we'll take Agron's army so and go north. And then this army that has come down south, Bardalis, you'll go back south. So we're kind of swapping them around, really. Uh, and you're going to join Agron. And then the f oh, the four Epibartai are down here, though. Hmm. Well, Bardalis, do you have Epibartai? You do. Two quite experienced ones. So yeah, we'll just take the Epibartai out of here. And we'll go with them. And yeah, we'll go there and actually join them up straight away so we actually know what we're doing. Uh, you guys are part of Bardalis's army. It's quite confusing, man. <laughs> uh, so the Progemoy can then join up there. You guys can also join up there. And then what are we missing... So, again, it's the four Epibartai. Oh, two more Epibartai. And then some extra infantry somewhere. Well, maybe it was the... Roger, I know. It's, it's actually okay. Okay, you're actually a... You three are actually... Uh, you're actually a normal unit. You need to get retrained in Ryzon. I don't know how you made your way into that army. But that's okay. Fine. So then... Two Epibartai, so we're going to have two more Epibartai, are we not? Uh, we're going to have two more Thurio Foroi. Okay, that's fine. Right. I think I know where we are now. We'll get one more Epibartai there. We'll get that Thurio Foroi recruited there. We'll also probably get some Axe Axemen, maybe some more Axemen here. And then that should be enough to cover all of the, uh, the armies. You're going to go straight for Scardona. They haven't really gathered any forces together, really. I'm going to leave behind you. Like I say, it'd be nice to have some more Epibartite in this unit. We're then going to go straight for Tergeste. I will be auto-resolving a lot of these battles, guys. Because, like I say, we don't want to fight three men in a settlement every time. Kind of annoying. Um, so hopefully they do gather some forces together. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're a bit screwed. We're going to get horse archers together in the south. That's good. Anything of real interest. Ah, what we can actually do as well is recruit some of these guys as... Uh, where are the other recruitment hubs over here? It's here, isn't it? As garrison troops. So we've just got to remember that we have those guys as garrison troops as well. Uh, and then here, let's, uh, let's leave. And what we're going to do is replace these guys into... Yeah, you are going to go in there. And did I not get another one? Yeah, I did. Cool. You're going to go in there. And we're probably going to use this army then to go up north. And if the uh, if the Romans do come, um, yeah, we'll have to just deal with them. 
as it comes. So, yeah, we might just have to keep bouncing back and forth. But at the minute, the Romans are just chilling. They're really not doing much. Bit annoying that we're, we're probably going to lose our ships there. But, oh well. Right then, let's do some building. We're going to go from the bottom again. We're actually not building in many places anymore. Look at that. That is quite bad. Uh, and Nysactium. Yeah, there's nothing that's worth building in Nysactium. Parentium, let's build that. Cesarethos, probably worth building the roads. Let's build that. Uh, and then Incarnium, we're going to leave it because it's under siege. Damastion, all the way over here. Probably those roads because, of course, quite a good city. Optigerium. Yeah, Optigerium, we need the recruitment hub. Idaba, not worth building anything really. Opium, Catalorium, let's go. Catalorum, let's go for that. Uh, and are we building in the ones that we want to? Like, um, I always forget what we've called Patavium now. Arated Darmon, we are, and we're building in these areas. Okay, no, we're not building every single one of these areas. Altinum, we're actually not building anything. Let's just build the land clearance to get some extra population growth. Um, yeah, 3,600 men, pretty good, but there's no buildings in this place. <laughs> But anyway, let's end the turn. Let's see what the Liberni decide to do. They could actually attack us all along this line here. That's the main issue we have. We've got to try and clean up these areas very quickly. So let's go. And as expected, we are under attack from the Romans. Clear defeat. We completely died. Our ships all died. <laughs> oh, God. Well, another husband. I think we'll take him this time. And where did he go? He went into Rhizon, where we do have two guys. So, yeah, both of these guys are actual generals, aren't they? So, we have an extra guy in Ryzon. So let's take that. Just working out what we need in this army. Two more Epibartai, and then two more infantry units, which we are getting up here. Hmm. Well, let's see. Can we get Thurio Foroi down here? Like, do these guys have a ram yet? They don't even have a ram yet, so we don't need to be too scared. Hmm. Well, it would be better if we could get uh, the infantry in Epidamnos. What we'll do is we will move on. We will move on. But, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Nestos has grown now. Wow, we have, a, we have a city growing on our coast. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Not expecting that at all. And then we have Lissos that got level 3 recruitment. Very nice. Very nice. Not really anything that's too good for building there. But we will keep on building up our military infrastructure. Uh, anything else interesting? Not really. That's fine. That's, this is why this war is going to be so weird and annoying. Because, as you can see, just our border with the uh, Liberni is just so wide. We're going to do knock you back. How? Where do you have to go to take Norea that way? Well, we might as well take now Portis while we're doing that. In fact, what we're going to do is try and use our spies. Because we do have some good spies in this region. And we also have got two new spies. So did you open the gates? No, you didn't. Well, that's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Right, this one, this doesn't have a general, so 396, man. Seems, that just seems obscene, bro. But anyway, that's okay. Get you down to low. Like I say, we just want to chain through these cities, honestly, and we can actually get onto the islands. Hmm. Yeah, that's... That's not the worst idea. It's not the best idea. I think we just go for these towns. And, like, this army we're just going to keep auto-resolving with. Uh, a couple of the other armies we might not do that. We've got to decide what we want to do with you. We can go and knock the faction air back. Or we can attack Scardona. Uh, well, let's attack Scardona first. It's only got two units in it. That's fine. Um... Spy is in there. Okay, cool. We did get two new spies as well. So let's, uh, I'm going to go through all the spies now, guys, and then see where we are with them. 
And uh, yeah, war with the Laburnie. Interesting. So guys, I've actually had a look up north. And look at this. The Laburnie all the way on the border with the Boyai. Now that is really not something we want to engage with too much. So I'm thinking if we can get our border up to here. And then make the Laburnie our protectorate. That is going to be the option. We're also going to try and make a path through here. So that this army that is quite damaged now can actually... Um, get retrained also going to bring these guys together as a sort of um uh what do you call it a uh, garrison unit sort of little group going to keep on recruiting more of them maybe not the spearmen probably not worth it uh yeah just those guys for now because they're going to garrison the cities that we take so, yeah, we're going to just pop through this way. I'm hoping this, like, come on, don't, 234, man. It seems like the Laburnie troops, I'm just going to occupy that because it is a minor city. It seems like the Laburnie troops are pretty OP, honestly, as troops. Let's just get the Northern Illyrian Cavalry in there because they'll be a cheap garrison unit. Got some more Epibarti there and more Thurio. Foroy, they were to join this army, weren't they? Let's go knock these guys back. We'll deal with that next turn. So what I'm going to do is gather up the rest of these boys. So you guys go there and there. And then we're going to take the Thurio Foroi from there. And we're going to take the Axemen maybe. So they're all going to join up together. Did we not? I thought we had an Epibartite. We do have an Epibartite. So yeah, those five units are going to join together and join this army. Although there's only four spaces, I'm sure we'll find slots for them all. And then we also did get some more garrison troops, didn't we? Up in this region, both of these areas. Yep, that's fine. We also noticed that this is rebelling or rioting a little bit. Same as this area. So, hmm. Let's try and make them happy. Surprised they're a little bit upset. Let's go for the... I mean, 5% happiness is not great. It does take two turns, though, so it should be okay. Uh, same with you, because you're a little bit unhappy. But there isn't actually anything we can do. I think it's just the standard cultural unrest that uh, happens every now and then in these areas. So, yeah. Three settlements besieged. Uh, and, yeah, we... Most advanced faction again, somehow. No idea how that's happened. And let's just check this. Idaba, we've got more horse archers. So let's keep on going with that. I'm going to keep on recruiting like a couple. Yeah, Metalum, Splonum, we've got those garrison troops. Darson, we got that. And then what I'm probably going to do is spam out some cheap garrison troops in these areas. Like Akontistai, like the Prodromoy are also quite a good garrison little unit and then here the levies so there we go that is good uh, so i am thinking let's auto resolve this again probably going to lose a lot of units 114 not too bad but what i want to do is just basically carve a path through let's put you down to low let's attack you knock you back go for this carve a path through this way so that this army can then go back and retrain itself also going to move like you units to the front so you, you're the ones you're the ones taking damage now rather than anything else good so there we go good let's go for that affluent aristocrat cool uh, and we've also got these garrison boys. So, yeah, I want to... Hmm, what did we leave behind there? Yeah, Labeateans, that's fine. Let's make sure that we are repairing the walls and everything in here. Probably not going to want to recruit anything from the Laburnian land. I mean, the Laburnian marines are actually a really good unit. They have an armor-piercing melee weapon. So maybe we will, but I think the areas where we would recruit them is here in these three. So let's repair that for now. Um, so yeah, I think it would be these three areas. So, and this also Scardona is a minor city. I'm assuming this is a minor city too. 
So yeah, for now, let's delete those buildings in this area because we're not going to recruit from this area at all. That's no problem. Let's delete all of that. It gives us a bit of extra cash to play with. Make sure we repair that. And let's go for the sewers because that is happiness as well as everything else. So I'm thinking, like I say, we're going to leave the north alone. Yeah, 50, only 54 men dying in that one. This is a big difference when you've got someone who's actually a good general as well. Let's go straight on to our servo over here. We are just like hammering them really, aren't we? Which is pretty good. Let's make sure you go on to low. Let's also delete the uh, military buildings. Also, it means that if they come and retake any of these areas... Um, we will be, uh, they won't be able to uh, train troops. So that, of course, is a big bonus for us. Hmm. Well, I think you two can come this way. You're going to go up that way. There we go. Plenty of uh, garrison troops on the way. Does any of you guys have rams yet that we have to be worried about? No, they don't. Good. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll deal with that probably next episode. But yeah, for now, let's uh, let's do a little bit of building if we can. Anything worth building anywhere? Probably not too much. Let's repair in here. We didn't actually do that last time. Actually, no. We're going to delete these buildings as well. We don't need them. So yeah, even more money. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And there we go. Sewers. So it's all, everything has all happened at once now, which is great. <laughs> great for us. Um, and then let's just build a road here so we can actually move around this area a little bit better. Uh, Feltria, let's build something in there because it is going to be a very rich settlement when we get the chance to upgrade it a little bit more. Fantastic. Well, I think we are good, guys. I am going to end the episode there. So I hope you did enjoy. Not a huge amount of battles again, but we are at the point now where all the action is about to start. We've got Rome on our borders. Uh, we've got the enemy nearby, uh, too. We've got the Laburni that we are sieging down everywhere now. Okay, we forgot about you. See if we can, uh, delete that. Let's go into Agrigentum. There we go. Hopefully they gather up some armies, honestly, because I don't know, like, I don't know about you, but I don't fancy just auto-resolving this whole war through all of these guys. So, yeah, I'd rather they actually got some armies together, but... <laughs> But it doesn't look like they're doing that at the moment. But um, anyway, let's uh, let's just, before we go, let's just see if we can get some of these spies. Because we do have spies everywhere. Um, opening the gates to places. Okay, they didn't there. No problem. Was there a spy in there? Or there there was one in here. So let's see. Can we open this gate? Let's cancel the siege. Get in there. Yeah, they are starting to uh, get a bit better, these spies. Okay, they did open that one. Let's go then. Very nice. Let's go for the enslave here too. Only a large town, so it doesn't really matter too much. And again, let's delete these buildings. We don't need them. So we are just powering through the Laburni at the moment. And yeah, I don't think there's anything we really need to worry about about them because they're not putting together any armies, so... You know, if they don't want to do that, that's fine by me. Hmm. We don't have a garrison unit for this. For this. Hmm. Is there anything we can swap out? We would have a garrison unit if we could move this guy. So, why don't we do that? Let's move you out the way. Let's then get you into there. Good. And then we're probably going to go straight up for Nevio Darnum. We'll probably go up to Poetovio and uh, Nerea. And then we've kind of squared off the northern areas that we want ourselves. So, yeah, let's do that. Only one unit in here as well. So that's good for us. Good. Well, I think we're in a good position, guys. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.